Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of Roshox Comics. Uh, sorry this one took so long to get out, we're a few days late. Uh, we got a little sidetracked and busy with the Independence Day holiday. Um, I hope you, all, you guys all had a great Independence Day. Saw lots of friends, family, lots of fireworks, and ate lots of food that you shouldn't have. So, alright, with comics, here we go. Alright, so today we're going to take a little trip over to Europe and look at a European comic book. Mm, sort of? More like an Anglicanized version of a hit American comic book. We're looking at Action Force today. Uh, Action Force is essentially G.I. Joe, but Anglicanized. Or, for those of you that don't know what that means, it's, they turned it British. Alright, so, there were several versions of Action Force. We'll be focusing today on the third generation of Action Force, mainly because, well, those are the books I have and have read. So, alright, so, third gen was from 1985. Uh, this is when Hasbro took over the assets of British toy maker Palatoy. Palatay, I'm not sure how it's pronounced. Anyway, so they rebranded Action Force uh, to be G.I. Joe, changed it over to G.I. Joe characters. They fought Cobra, the whole nine yards, blah, 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 blah. But instead of being Americans, they were, the, the operatives were from various nations around the world. So, in 1987, they launched this version of Action Force, which was cancelled after only 50 issues due to poor sales. It was then turned into Action Force Monthly, which they then cancelled after 15 issues for the same reason. The, anyway, well, later Action Force Monthly would be transferred over to the U.S., turned back into G.I. Joe, and was re re-rebranded? Sure, we'll go with that. As G.I. Joe European Missions. Now, as I said in this version of Action Force, they are the same as G.I. Joe. They are the same characters. It's Duke, Sergeant, uh, Stalker, Flint, Lady J, Scarlet, Snake Eyes, all, all the whole, like I said, it's all the same. It's just a different, it's a different name to help, you know, sell it to British kids. Now, in the, the another difference with these ones was, though, uh, the G.I. Joe, I'm sorry, Action Force team, uh, they would occasionally team up with other teams from the cur or the previous generations of Action Force, like Z-Force, whomever they were, and the SAS. Now, G.I. Joe comics were written by Larry Hama, whereas these ones were written by Simon Furman with the artwork by Kev Hopgood, at least for the first couple of issues. I'm not sure how long they stuck with it. Uh, with as short-lived as it was, they may have done all of it, but I don't know. The writing and art styles are a little are similar to the G.I. Joe books of the time, although I personally kind of like the Action Force art a little better. It, it seemed to be a bit w more well-rounded, I guess, is the way to put it. It seemed, I don't know, it, it's easier to look at, to me anyway. I also kind of like the writing style a little bit better. It seemed a bit more to the point, I guess you could say. Um, but, like I said, that's just a personal preference. Now, all in all, uh, the first ten issues of Action Force I found to be quite enjoyable. I would recommend it um, if you find a, any copies out there. Yeah, pick them up. It's, it's interesting to have, especially when you look at another major difference between the two. We're going to do a little bit of show and tell. We're going to look at a G.I. Joe comic and an Action Force comic that are from the same period. See the differences there? Now, you see, G.I. Joe was printed in the standard comic format at the time, which the measurement for that is 6.5 inches wide by 10 inches tall. Whereas, Action Force was printed in the magazine-style format. So they are 8.5 inches wide by 11 inches tall. Now, why they did that, I'm not sure. Personally, I kind of like it. There's pros and cons to both. The pros for me is it's bigger, so it makes the artwork easier. To, you can see the fine details a little easier. You can, if you know, small captions, small typing is an issue for you. You can read it a little bit easier. However, they will not fit in a standard-sized comic book short or long box. I think they they may make boxes specifically for them. I'm not sure. I know they make bags and sleeves for them. Obviously, because, well, my books are in those. But 
I don't own any per own any boxes made for them personally because well I'm cheap and don't feel like running amok looking for them. I have found that they will fit in a regular comic book short or long box quite easily as long as you lay them on their sides along the long side of the wall of the box. Works fine. And you know you can still display your books and look through them easily. Now, what I'm doing right now just due to the spacing concerns I have, I'm actually keeping them. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. I've got regular books and my Action Force books in the same box. The Action Force books go this way on their sides, and everything else goes like this. So, I've got enough room for the first 10 issues. If I ever pick up any more, I might run into an issue and have to split them up between different boxes, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Now, like I said, the, the Action Force style is very very similar to the G.I. Joe style at the time. I personally prefer the writing and artwork of the 2000s G.I. Joe, specifically the ones printed by Devil's Due Publishing and IDW, as you can see on my wall back there. But it's still it's still a good read. Um, as a lifelong lover of G.I. Joe, when I, first, when I saw these action force ones, I'm like, oh yeah, I gotta get that. I gotta check that out. See what's going on there. And I am I do collect the original series somewhat. I've I could I'm not sure how many issues I've got. They did like a hundred and hundred and ninety some of them I want to say was the first round printed by Marvel. Now Action Force is still technically printed by Marvel, but it's Marvel UK of course since it's you know in the UK. So all right guys, I think that's it for tonight. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to like and subscribe for more. Make sure you hit the little bell so you get notifications when we put out a new video. All right, guys. Have a good day. Bye. Also, guys, I wanted to let you know there may be some changes coming to the channel here soon. Um, I'll let you know more when I know more. So, all right, guys. Have a good day. Bye.